Hello guys, today we will be reviewing the Terabyte Batat Acrocanthosaurus. So starting off, it is actually not bad. I mean, the colorway might be a little lazy because everyone could think of that. But at the same time, I think it's a very good figure. My all right, the paper keeps falling. I'm using paper as the white screen because this camera doesn't focus so much. Wait, okay, wait. Have you ever got that time when you were about to sneeze and then you don't? Yeah, that just happened to me. So, starting off with detail, I think if we go here, it's not yeah. that detailed right there. You just put a dot of black paint, yeah. Here, it's good, the claws. Yeah, they're actually not bad to, for the claws. Now, if we look here, it's not good, but you could actually see some bony parts. So it's actually in a little bit of good of detail. And like I said, the colorway is kind of lazy, just, I don't know. So, yeah. But the skull is accurate indeed if this camera is there. So it's very accurate. Now the pose isn't as accurate. It's like the Papo Acro, but the Papo one's a little ac more accurate. So, <clears throat> and now getting back to the colorway, I don't like it that much. Not the best. So yeah, now I think, yeah, Acro did have spines like that. And, <clears throat> I think, all right, let's, how about this? We do a size comparison now. So we'll put him there. This time we'll put the Chinosaur Pinkasaur, the Chinosaur Apatosaur, because some of us might have these guys. Chinosaurs are pretty common to find. And the Wild Republic Tracer. So you can see it's not the biggest thing. To, uh, so the size isn't as appropriate, but it's still fine. So let's get these guys out of the way and back and focus. So <clears throat> if so, might um, what else do I usually talk about? Huh. All right, so <laughs> this guy right here, he was made like, all right, really, like the colorway is just, I don't know, it's nice, but at the same time, kind of lazy, because we could all think of this, but we wouldn't try to do this too much. The hard workers would do it. But really, it's not the best colorway, but it's still good. <clears throat> so our my overall rating is a 8 out of 10. The 8 out of 10 is that this guy takes more risks than the Parasaur Alphys. The colorway is a minus 1, and the detail here is a minus 1. So that made it eight. So basically, yeah, this thing is awesome. So uh, I think I recommend it if you are a fan of Terra or if you just like the Acrocanthosaurus. So goodbye and I'm out.